Welcome to the channel guys, my name is Alex. Today we're going to be going through a yoga style flow that is great for swimmers. So the only thing you need to know before we get right into it is that it's going to be a vinyasa style flow, which means that we're going to be smoothly transitioning from pose to pose, and the last pose of a cycle will leave us right where we started in the first one so that you can continuously go through. So with that, I just wanted to say thank you to the people on Patreon who are helping sponsor these videos. You guys are awesome and you always have all of my appreciation. So with that, let's get into this flow. So before we get into the free flowing style of yoga, we're gonna do a few warm up exercises for 30 seconds each. So we'll have four moves for two rounds. Let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start with camels and cats. Very basic yoga flow or yoga pose right here. Very often used for warm up. One thing you wanna keep in mind is that when you're going into your cat position, when you're arching your back, make sure that you don't crank your neck up towards the ceiling. Try to look no farther than straight in front of you. And this is because we wanna hold a neutral spine and avoid pinching any of those very important nerves. All right, from here, we're gonna choose one arm, reach it towards the sky and then reach it towards our opposite side. So the idea here is to reach towards the ceiling and then bring that same shoulder towards the ground and twist the upper body. Nice and slow and controlled, moving with your breath. That's the way we go. All right, from here, same arm is gonna go in front, raising the opposite leg and we're gonna bring them together in a crunch. So table extension and a crunch. The idea here is to breathe with your exertions and your recoveries. So for example, we crunch, we're exerting, that's when we wanna exhale, and we inhale as we reach out in the recovery. So inhale, reach, exhale, exert. And the fourth one will be a dolphin pose. Keep your hips in front of your knees and walk your hands out nice and far. Think about pressing your armpits down and your chest down as if you're doing a butterfly stroke and you're trying to drive your chest towards the bottom of the pool. All right, coming through the second round of this, we're back to cats and camels. Again, remember neutral spine. Don't crank your head up towards the ceiling. Try to engage your scapula as much as possible. Those are your shoulder blades. All right, we'll take the opposite arm this time, reaching towards the sky, and pinning the shoulder on the ground as we reach to the side. Reaching to the sky, and threading the needle through the hole. Remember your breathing here. Try to time everything. We're going for patience and stability, just getting warmed up. All right, extending that arm forward, bringing the opposite leg out, and we exhale as we crunch, and inhale as we recover. Exhale, crunch, inhale, recover. and finishing off with that dolphin pose. All right, good job there, guys. So now we're gonna get into the more vinyasa yoga style flows. If 
you're not too familiar with the poses, I advise that you watch me go through the first round, and once you get the hang of it, then go ahead and join in. So, also we're gonna be finishing every single flow with a reverse push-up to swan, and pressing back up to down dog. That part's not shown in the previews. All right, so let's get into this first flow. I'm gonna start off here in a downward facing dog. Go ahead and pedal out your feet if you still need to stretch out your calves a little more. It's okay to bend in the knees, it's okay to keep the heels up, but you wanna think of actively pressing your armpits back towards your heels and keeping your head in a neutral position. All right, so to begin the flow, we're gonna jump up into a forward fold. With our inhale, we're gonna come up to a straight back half lift and an exhale back to forward fold. Then with the next inhale, we're gonna sweep the arms up towards the ceiling, bring the hips down into a chair pose. Exhale, bringing the hands back to the center. From here, we're gonna plant our hands back into a fold, jump our feet back into a plank position, reverse push up, swan press, and back to downward facing. And that right there is what the first floor looks like. That's round one. Let's do four more for a total of five. All right, so we jump the feet up, forward fold, inhale, raise to a straight back, exhale, back to fold. Sweep the arms up towards the ceiling with the inhale, hips down, chair pose, hold it for a breath to build the strength. Exhale, hands back to center. Plant them back in a forward fold. Jump the feet back, reverse push up, swan press, and back to downward facing dog. Now three more rounds, let's move a little quicker. Jumping the forward fold, inhale, half lift, exhale, folding back over, sweeping inhale into chair pose, exhale, hands to center, hands plant, plank position, reverse push up, swan press up we go, and back to downward facing dog. Two more rounds. Jumping up, inhale half lift, exhale fold, sweeping inhale to the chair, exhale heart center, hands plant, feet jump back, reverse push up, swan, and back to downward facing dog. Last round. Jumping up, halfway lift with the inhale, exhale, fold back over, big sweeping inhale to chair pose, exhale, hands come to center, plant back in a fold, jump the feet back, reverse the push up, swan press, and downward facing dog. Good job, guys. That was five rounds of the first flow. All right, now that do a second flow that's gonna be more intensive on the legs. So again, if you're not too familiar, go ahead and watch me go through it the first time and then jump in once you're comfortable. All right, we're gonna get started here in a downward facing dog. We're gonna throw up one leg to a three-legged dog. We're gonna come to a high lunge, hands sweeping up. Bring the back heel down sideways to warrior two. Flip your front palm, reverse it as you bend into the front knee. Coming back up to warrior two. Coming back down with a cartwheel to a runner's twist, nice and high. And then we're gonna go here to high plank, reverse the push up. Swan pose, downward facing dog. So that's round one. We did it with the right leg. Now let's do it with the left. So kicking the left leg up to a three legged dog, swinging it through to a high lunge as we inhale and bring the arms up. As we exhale, we twist the back foot, coming down on the heel sideways, and split our arms into a warrior two. We're gonna flip the front list. Inhale, lean back, 
send the hips forward, exhale, come back to neutral warrior two, cartwheel forward, spinning the back foot onto your balls, reaching towards the sky with the left hand, we're in a runner's twist. You're gonna plant the hand, come back to a plank, reverse the push up, swan pose, and downward facing dog. So there you go, we did one round for each side. We're gonna do four more in total, or two rounds for each side. So three-legged dog with the right leg, coming into a high lunge, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, twist to warrior two, flip the front palm, reverse it, lean into the front foot, coming on back to warrior two, cartwheeling down into a runner's twist, reaching for the sky with our right hands. Planting both of them back, coming into a plank position. Reverse the push up, swan pose, downward facing dog. Now for the left side, three legged dog, sweep it through to a high lunge, hands come up. And remember, keep this back leg very strong, very active. You want to be pressing out of that back foot. High lunge. Coming down into warrior two, reversing the hand, leaning back and forward into that front heel and cartwheeling down into a runner's twist. We'll hold here for a second. Come back to plank, reverse the push up, swan press and downward facing dog. One more round left, one each side. So let's go with the right again. Three legged dog. Coming through to a sweeping high lunge, reversing to warrior two, flipping the front palm, bringing it back, leaning into the front foot, back to warrior two as we cartwheel into a runner's twist. Palms down, reverse the push up, and swan press. Downward dog, straight into round three. Finishing round three. High lunge, sweeping the arms up. Reverse that back foot. Really press into the blade end of that back foot. Reverse the front palm. Backwards, nice reach. Big twist into the runner's twist. Both palms come down. We reverse the push up. Swan press and finish with downward facing dog. Very nice. So good job making it through the first round of the leg flow. Now we have a second, slightly more advanced leg flow. So take a look at the previews. And remember, we're gonna be finishing off with that same reverse push up to swan press back to downward dog, which is not shown in the preview. All right, let's get started. So we're in downward facing dog. We're gonna bring the right foot up into a warrior one position. So big lean into the front knee, hands come up. You're on the back heel. From here, we're gonna bring our hands to our center and we're gonna float up whoop, into a warrior three. So back leg nice and straight, bottom leg nice and strong, hands here at the center. We're gonna hold it for two breaths. This might be a little longer. And we're gonna very gently bring our foot down. So from here, we're gonna bend over into a pyramid pose, hold it for a breath. And we're gonna plant both of the hands, bring this foot to the side. Right hand comes up to a sideways plank. And then we'll come back down, reverse the push up, swan press, back to downward facing dog. Let's go ahead and hit that with the left side. So we bring the left foot up, coming into a strong warrior one. We're gonna make sure that back heel is down. Big engagement in the front leg. Torso is facing forward. We're gonna bring the hands to the center. Float up slowly onto that front foot, raise the back leg, holding for three breaths. 
Then as we come down very, very slowly, we're gonna straighten both legs, come down to a pyramid stretch. Couple breaths here. We're gonna plant the hands, bring the left foot back into a side plank, holding for a couple breaths. Planting both hands, reversing the push-up, swan press, and back to downward facing dog. So there you go, we did both sides. Let's do four more rounds. So, right foot, warrior one. Nice and strong, nice and planted. Raising up to warrior three. Pause when you find your balance. Gently bringing that hand back into a pyramid pose. Planting the hands into a side plank. Hands come down, reversing the push-up. Swan press, downward facing dog. Left side this time. Left side warrior one. Big forward lunge, hands come up, bring them to center. Float forward gently and balanced into warrior three. Coming back down just the way you came with complete control, straightening the legs, coming into a pyramid pose stretch. This time right hand is planted nice and strong. Left hand comes, or left foot comes on top of the right. Sideways into a side plank. Holding the push up position, reversing it. Swan press and downward facing dog. All right guys, two more rounds, one each side. Warrior one on the right. Hands come up, big lunge, hands to the center. Coming up to warrior three, nice and balanced. Hold, and slow and controlled coming down to a pyramid pose stretch. Gonna bring the right foot, stack out on the left. Right hand comes to the side, nice stretched side plank. So you come back, reverse the push up, swan press, downward facing dog. Last round on the left side. Left foot up, back foot spins back, warrior one. Hands come to the center, floating very gently to warrior three. And slowly coming on back with control, straightening both legs, holding over, holding the stretch. Left foot stacks on top of the right. So you come into a side plank, reverse the push up. Swan press, and you guessed it. We just finished six rounds of that flow. So good job. Now we're gonna finish up with a little bit of a core exercise, and after that, we're gonna go into warm down. So from here on out, you guys should be familiar with the template. No more, I guess no more going at your own speed. We're gonna do everything 30 seconds each. All right, so you'll wanna be seated on your butt here. We're gonna get started with a boat pose. And we're gonna raise our legs all the way to the top and do a few crunches that way. And then we'll stretch it out with a glute bridge, work some of the lower back and the butt. All right, so legs nice and straight. You wanna exhale, come down. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, come up. Nice and easy. Take it at your own pace. If you need two breaths for each side, that works too. Make sure you're getting the balance first. All right, legs come straight up and we're just gonna crunch, touching our toes. So hands at your side, and you press the glutes up. Think of actively engaging here, both the glutes, the hamstring, and thirdly, the lower back, all equally. 
and we're just gonna hang out here. Good time to really focus on your breathing. Make sure that it's settled down, that you're using the full inhale you're capable of. And here, back to boat pose. Inhale down, exhale up. All right, feet come back up. It's the last hard part, so push through. Remember your breathing. So with this one, it's a good idea to keep your heels about hip distance apart and your toes pointing straight forward. You want each one of your feet to be about parallel with each other. Also, try to keep your heels at least in front of your knees. That'll give you equal activation. All right, and that's it for the core section of the flow. So now we're just gonna warm it down with a few very, very basic yoga pose stretches. We're gonna do a happy baby. Then we're gonna work on our core a little bit with the supine twist. We'll do a plow just to reverse the stretch in the spine a little bit. And then as always, finishing off with a wheel, at least in my practice. All right, so happy baby. Reach for your feet with your hands. And just try to actively Press your feet towards the ground, through your knees. Let the hips relax. Maybe rock side to side if you need it, forward and backward. We're just trying to get our torso in between our knees with as straight back as possible. All right, from here, bring your knees together and we're gonna twist to one side. You can use your hand you want just to give a little more resistance. Just settle down, let it release in your lower back. And 15 seconds to the other side as well. All right, from here, feet come straight up overhead. Think of this as reaching for your toes, but upside down. You can also feel free to plant your hands on the side and do a little rotation. Whatever feels good for you. And the last one here will be another bridge or a full wheel if that's what you like. So big press through the shoulders, actively put your weight in your heels, pressing forward just to open up the armpits, sending the hips towards the sky. All right, and that's what I have for a yoga style flow. Thank you for watching guys. Wishing you the best of swim results. Keep working hard, keep training smart. See you in the next video.